Hey guys, before you tune into this video, I want to remind you that we have a couple giveaways going on. I apologize if this gets old. I'm going to try to include uh, a skip button if you guys want to skip ahead in, in the form of a chapter to the rest of this video. But I need to let you guys know that we are giving away some pretty awesome stuff. Do you want an Xbox Series X, a PlayStation 5, or even just a standard Nintendo Switch? I mean, of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Well, uh, here's the thing. I'm giving one away. It is a celebration for hitting 50,000 subscribers back in the month of September. Uh, thank you guys so much for that. The winner for this will be announced on December 1st. If you want to enter, head down to that description. And then you know what? Subscribe to the channel while you're at it and hit that like button. If you do that, maybe I won't choke out a clown this holiday. <laughs> Also, hey, for the month of October, we are giving away two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. This is a separate giveaway. The winner will be announced on November 1st. So, uh, yeah, why don't you head on to the description and enter that as well. As a note, for both of these giveaways, it is required you are subscribed to the channel. If you win and you are not subscribed, you will be disqualified, and I will move on to the next potential winner. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Prime News. I am your host, Nathaniel Rumpeljantz. And before we jump into the news, we got four big news items for you today. Uh, yeah, I have to talk about why was there no Prime News yesterday? Because I was busy pre-ordering an Xbox Series S and an Xbox Series X. I got pre-orders in for both. I look forward to uh, taking a look at those systems. In fact, one thing I plan to do is I plan to tear apart both of these platforms the moment they arrive, before I even plug them in to make sure they work. So there's that. And put liquid metal as the new cooling solution. It's going to be interesting. Stay tuned for those videos coming probably November 11th, November 12th, somewhere in there. All right. Let's get into Prime News by talking about our first news item, which is about Kirby Fighters 2. That's right. Kirby Fighters 2 was leaked by Nintendo. Yeah, it was on their website for a brief moment, screenshotted, spread all across the internet. In fact, a full description of the game exists, which states, <coughs> Choose from a cast of Kirby's most iconic copy abilities, including the brand new wrestler ability, and duke it out to be the last Kirby standing. Familiar friends and foes like Bandano Waddle Dee and King DDD also make an appearance as playable characters in the Kirby Fighters 2 game, available exclusively for Nintendo Switch. Does this surprise anyone? There has been a Kirby game that's released every year for like a decade. I've lost track. And it felt weird that we didn't have a Kirby game this year. The streak was made to be broken, but just not here in, uh, in... 2020 because this is probably coming later this year yep that's a thing so here's a fun rumor for you guys especially if you're a fan of the metal gear series or well i don't know sony according to youtuber red gaming tech metal gear solid the first game is being fully remade exclusively for the playstation 5 now he claims that his source has been 100% correct. And a note about this YouTuber is he actually has a really good track record, although mostly with leaks related to video game hardware or, you know, GPUs, CPUs, consoles. He's had a lot of those leaks correct. He doesn't talk about games as much. So it's very interesting to see this come up. He also says that 2, 3, and 4 will all get remastered presumably for PlayStation 5, and maybe even the Xbox Series X. But yeah, first game being remade, that's kind of the big thing here. Do I think this is possible? Of course it's possible. We've seen the Final Fantasy VII remake. That didn't come to Xbox. We've seen, uh, you know, obviously the exclusivity contract with Final Fantasy XVI. Uh, and Sony's known to locking down things. Demon Souls, you know, the Demon Souls remastered or remake or whatever they're calling it. That's a thing. So Sony does this, so it wouldn't be surprising. The bigger surprise is, would Konami be willing to do it? Uh, I don't know. And obviously, can it be done without the master himself, Kojima, at the helm? We'll have to wait and find out. I don't think this is something that we're going to see announced till potentially next year. So Twitter user Philip X Cho put up this image you're seeing and yes folks you're not your eyes don't deceive you you are looking at animal crossing switch that's right the animal crossing theme switch appears to become 
back in stock at certain Target retailers, uh, and he happened to snap a picture of it. Curious, I actually got on the phone and had said, hey, yeah, this is, uh, I'm, I'm just calling, can I, can I get transferred to the electronics department? Yeah. Hi, I saw a, a picture on social media. Someone was saying that Animal Crossing Switch units were back in stock. Yeah, what's, what, what's, what's the situation over there? Yeah, oh, I know you, you know, not Switch, I know you have Switch and Switch Lite, but do you have any Animal Crossing, like Animal Crossing specific Switch units? You do? How many? No, I'm not, I'm not looking to buy them all, just, just how many you got? Tw okay. Yep, yep, two ninety nine. thank you, yep, bye. Yeah, my local Target has them too, 20 units. So, I thought Nintendo was done with the Animal Crossing Switch, I've said it in streams and in other videos, I didn't think they were making another run, but apparently Animal Crossing is such a behemoth that Nintendo is actually going to take those units and make more of them and probably have them in high stock for the holidays as they probably push Animal Crossing as a big holiday game with holiday updates. We have the big fall update coming out soon. There'll be a Christmas update, all that jazz, a Thanksgiving update. There'll be a whole bunch of crazy updates coming throughout the holidays for Animal Crossing and Nintendo's going to be pushing it. Animal Crossing New Horizons, by the way, might actually already be the best-selling game on Switch. We don't have updated sales numbers for it yet. I'm just putting it out there. It might have passed a certain game involving a mascot and a cart. I'm just throwing that out there. So Nintendo might be making more of these bundles uh, specifically for holidays to help push it. Uh, pretty crazy. I would love to see Animal Crossing actually bundled in with the system. But yeah, this is Nintendo. That's not happening. And our last story is kind of cool, good news, uh, something that we can maybe speculate on a little bit, and that is the Game Awards. So the Game Awards is coming back, hosted by Jeff Keighley, as always, and uh, yeah, it's coming back on December 10th. Now, there will be no live in-person event, not too surprising given how 2020's been going. Uh, it is going to be recorded in three different places, including Tokyo, including London, and then, of course, Los Angeles. So three different locations, three different countries. Uh, it'll have all the usual twists and turns. You're going to see, the, obviously, the awards handed out and then people, you know, accepting them at probably in a pre-recorded video format. Uh, you're going to see, uh, obviously, new game reveals and or trailers, world, world premieres, as Jeff Keighley likes to call it. This is where we could potentially see a Bayonetta 3 reveal, a Metroid Prime 4 reveal, more Breath of the Wild 2. Things that Nintendo has actually kind of tossed out at Game Awards in the past, potentially in there. You're also going to see reveals for stuff for PlayStation 5, reveals for stuff for Series X. Remember, this is after about a month after those systems have launched, exactly one month from the Series X. So yeah, they're going to have next-gen announcements here to hype people up for 2021 that's really, really exciting in that of itself. Of course, there'll also be musical performances because Jeff Keighley includes musical performances in everything he does because he does, to his credit, consistently highly value video game music in a way that nobody else seems to do. I know the musical performances sometimes get chastised. I realize that some people are not into it, but you know what? He does honor video game music, and I do personally, like Jeff Keighley, if you're watching this, I appreciate that you do, because so many people, including myself, tend to not give enough proper attention to video game music. When he did his Summer's Game Fest and all these announcements and all these discussions with all these various developers and you know console manufacturer people, um, yeah, he had musical performances from games in his show. He does it consistently. Kudos to you for keeping that going, even though a lot of fans just want more world premieres, more world premieres, more world premieres. Just give us the world premieres. Give us the exclusive games. And yeah, toss some awards up while you're at it. Why not? I mean, honestly, this is kind of like this year's E3, since we didn't have an E3. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how many big announcements happen here that would have originally been at a show back in June, especially for games that aren't coming till 2021, 2022, etc. Like, are we going to finally get a look at Dragon Age? Are we going to finally get a look at Elder Ring? I'm just, uh, should I even throw that name out there? I don't even know if that game still exists, but we've got to hope. we got to hope that Elden Ring is still a thing. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot of hope. Hope is what we have for this event. Obviously some awards. Uh, will Nintendo be up for any of them? I don't know. Animal Crossing is probably going to bring home an award for something. There's that. I don't know that Nintendo's going to win much else. <laughs> but we'll see. Who knows? Uh, I expect Ghost of Tsushima to, to take home an award this year. Uh, I don't know if any of the next-gen launch games will, 
will actually qualify. I think all of those happen after the voting happens. So anyways, I don't know, folks. You guys let me know what you think about all of this news down in the comments below. Anyways, I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I want to thank each and every single one of you for tuning in, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Yes. Yes.